but look, this time they waited until I left him to bring out the ice cream truck. <laughs> Normally, and plus it's raining too, so hell, it's just finished raining. So the ice cream truck showing up. Of course, ain't a black person. You know, there's a there's an ice cream truck that shows up at my daughter's school. Again, it has a white dude in there. Now this is a Hispanic person. Like I said, if I see any black uh, body driving an ice cream truck playing that song, I'm gonna let them have it. And then stop being so damn ignorant and stupid. Yep, so anyway, so Pan calls me, texts me saying that um, she gonna go get her car and she might not be back in time to go pick up a little son. I really wasn't gonna go, but she asked Ethan, so I'm just gonna go drop, uh, get her and leave her with Ethan before I leave. Um, you know, and, but again, and I had to call, I said, you know, you talk about communication, but this is the shit that she do. You would literally, you know, say so you would literally do things and then want to ask me to talk about, let's talk about it after the fact. No, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, you want to do things and then want to talk about, oh, um, I just call you to talk about it, but that's after the fact. You didn't, you didn't let me know, you didn't ask me, hey, is it okay if you could stay? You know, because again, you know, the way things are, especially over the weekend, uh, leading up to the weekend, you know, where she act as if I don't exist, right? Because she has a date, she act as if I don't exist, and then, you know, after the date, two, three days later, I guess whoever person ain't call her back or what have you, all of a sudden she's calling me, hey, you know. I'm, the, I'm, I'm, I'm out to lunch, I said, just give me a call just to see how you're doing and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no. You know, I've been through this shit for over, well over five years, okay? Because it's been, what, almost three years since we broke up? Okay? So I've been going through this shit with her even longer than that. You know, and I just decided no more. I finally decided you know what that was it you know particularly when I'm doing you know all you know so much in which I shouldn't be doing you know to be treated like that you know I, I think I, I you know I reached I reached my breaking point I reached my and I'm gonna say breaking point but I reached my um my tolerance with that I'm not gonna tolerate that anymore you know So yeah, I tell you it's, it's 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 funny, man. You know, and then it's like, oh, I'm toxic. Yeah, it, it, you see, when people call you, when people say you're toxic because you tell them the truth and because you call them out on their on their bullshit, they're the one that's toxic. They just want you to accept their toxicity, and they don't want you to say anything about it. Okay, so when you know they do stuff like this, they they disrespect you. You know, they, they think, and this is particularly with black women, they think that you can't, there's a black man that I can't say nothing. Like she's told me plenty of times, you know, in our relationship, you know, why am I saying no to her? You can't say no to me, you're not supposed to be saying no to me. This is what's in their mindset, right? But yeah, they, they date white men, Hispanic men, they tell them no all the damn time. It's not a problem, but it's just us black men that can't say no. But they can say no to us all the time. But they won't say no to these white, Hispan uh, white men and these white Hispanic men. They're not going, they don't say no. So again, the double standard, you know, and they're conditioned that way. The white supremacists that are within the security agency, within the police force, you know, they're, they're creating this sort of mentality and this sort of conditioning. And this is why, like I said, that relationship between black men and black women in the next 10 years is going to be so severely severed that as a group of people, particularly here in the United States, forget it, forget it. And then we'll see when the white men turn on the black women, let's see who they're going to run to. They ain't damn sure ain't going to run to black men. And I tell black men all the time, don't, don't fall for it. Leave them be. Leave them be. Okay? They, they will participate in their own family destruction, in their own community destruction, or for selfishness and stupidity. And we, we as black men, we do it too. We do it too, so I'm not gonna just call them black women, but black men too.
condition with this with the stupidity. Okay? So this is why the majority of, of, of black men and black women when they get older, over over 60, they buy themselves. And they have yet to figure out why. They have yet to figure out and understand the the program. Right? They have yet to figure that shit out. <laughs> so you know, like I said, you can't, you know, I'm not going to pass on that same mentality. I'm not going to adapt that same mentality. And I'm not going to pass it on to my kids. And hopefully, you know, when they get older and they date, they'll be with somebody who don't have that mentality either. All right.